Changed men changes communities. Changed communities changes culture. Changed culture changes government. Welcome back to the Biblical Conservative Channel, where we come against anti-God, anti-biblical, anti-human, anti-Christian spirit that is looking to prevail in this land and in the world. Please be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can receive the latest notifications when videos and other things are released on the channel. With the start of the NFL season and college season, we know that fall is right around the corner. This fall presents another opportunity for citizens to express their satisfaction or dissatisfaction with their government. At all levels, from the Congress, to governors, to mayors, on down to the local school boards, the ideal of America is demonstrated in the free and fair elections that are held every year. Realizing that there are forces who desire to remove the free and the fair from our elections, we must exercise our right to vote as citizens. Unfortunately, a large number of Christians do not take advantage of this right. For a myriad of reasons, some Christians choose to leave their most powerful weapon as a citizen holstered. But that is a lie that has been circulated in the church. This was done to keep the church at bay while anti-God and anti-biblical policies were devised. As the church turned inward, the government became more and more corrupt. Instead of being an instrument of God to punish evildoers, the government now punishes the good and rewards the bad. So what should a Christian do as we approach another election cycle? Number one, pray. The Holy Spirit through Paul admonishes us to pray for our leaders in Romans 13. Prayer invites God to move in the earth realm to execute his kingdom, to demonstrate his kingdom. We pray because we desire God's will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. We pray because it turns our attention from man to God. We pray because we decrease and he increases. God does not override the will of man. Yet through prayer, God will draw men to him through his spirit. Changed men changes communities. Changed communities changes culture. Changed culture changes government. Number two, research. Don't just rely upon one source when looking at the candidates. Review multiple resources so that a well formed picture of the candidates is developed. Some of the sources I use to help inform my congregation includes iVoter Guide, Faith and Freedom Coalition, Ballotpedia, among others. It's imperative to know which candidate closely aligns with biblical values. Number three, get involved. While voting is critical, getting involved in the election process is invaluable. Whether it's volunteering to be a poll watcher, registering people to vote, or running for office, as believers, we must get involved. As the leader of our Get Involved in Government group at my church, the ministry, the motto we have is to educate, motivate, and activate. Activation is the key in order to turn education and motivation into results. It does not help anyone to stay on the sidelines. And number four, remember who we represent. In this hyper-partisan period, it's easy to fall into the trap of identifying ourselves as either a Republican or a Democrat. Doing so tends to cause us to see one party as good and the other party as evil. 
There is no good party and there is no evil party. Both parties are political, meaning they will do whatever it takes to win elections. While we may affiliate with a party, our ultimate affection lies with the party of Jesus Christ. We side with his party above all. Viewing things this way will cause us to call out unbiblical stances, no matter which party is the source. Viewing things this way caused us to call out unbiblical stances, no matter which party is the source. We call out the ideologies that are diametrically opposed to our values. Having this approach will help to ensure we elect individuals who will accurately reflect us and our values. Because we are not victims. We are empowered for greatness. Thank you so much for liking and your comments and subscribing to the channel. Please share this with your friends. Smash that like button. Smash the subscription bell. Share this with everybody you know. We're trying to make sure people understand that they're not victims, that they are empowered for greatness. And all of this stuff that's out here that's telling them otherwise is false and will not benefit them in the end. So please, I appreciate that. Share that.